What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today is going to be an awesome video because we're going to go over the entire suspension modifications to our ultimate tow rig build series that we got going on. I'm actually from the future because I am sitting here looking at this end product and it looks amazing. But I do want to remind you that we are running 15 times entries on this giveaway truck. So if you click on the link down below, it's going to do two things. It's going to, number one, give you an early sneak peek at what the actual truck in finished product form actually looks like. More details to come later in the video. So now let's go ahead and show you what the build process looks like on this suspension system. Hey guys, Colton here with Town & Country TV and TC Customs. And today we're back on the ultimate tow rig. I hope you're excited about this thing because I know I am. And we've got some big plans for this thing today, don't we Mitchell? We do. Okay, so in the previous video, we were trying to see if we could fit 40s by 15, 50, 15 and a half inch wides on just these Fab Force open fender system. And it actually semi clears until you got to take this thing off road. That's where you're gonna run into some suspension clears. Basically that tire is gonna come straight up into this. And we don't wanna do that because no. this open fender system looks amazing. Plus it looks goofy with the, uh, the front end down with all this stock rake. I don't really like that. It really does. Well, we're gonna fix that today with a massive suspension system from Fabtech. We've got these Dirt Logic coilovers. In fact, let's go take a look at them. You need any help lifting that? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your boy been working out, but not hard enough. Oh, look at this. Can you grab this for look me? Look at this remote reservoir. Holy <laughs> That's That's minimum 110 pounds. That's, I'm telling you, dude. That's this, huge. Geez. Look at the size. Look how much. Never in my life, not exaggeration, never in my life have I picked up a coilover of that size. Oh, look. I cannot wait to see what this thing does on the truck. I'm because, speechless about that reservoir. Look how much fluid you have. Like that, <laughs> You're never going to get that fluid hot. Would you like a gallon of fluid? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, seriously, between that coilover and I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it, four link setup. This is not a radius arm. This is the cream of the crop as far as the lift kit is concerned. So we're gonna be replacing the radius arm and going with a four link setup. I guess let's go ahead and start the teardown. Tyler, you ready? pulling it off the rack. Holy smokes, this thing is absolutely massive. So we've got the Fabtech suspension lift. It's fully installed, and I think it's time to double check the clearance. Colton, if you don't mind, hop, hop in the truck and go ahead and cut the wheel all the way to one side uh, so that way we can check for the clearance. But okay. hey, hey right. real, real quick though, I got, I got you something. Mm. There you go. All right, and okay. <laughs> Thanks, man, I, I actually needed this. Not everybody's six foot three. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's very handy. Can we put that in the back of the truck for me? <laughs> Colton, go ahead and turn that steering wheel all the way to one side. And it looks like we've got all the clearance in the world. So it looks like the lift kit did its job of making sure that we've got enough clearance right here. But it also looks like all the pinch welds between the combination of that Fabtech lift kit and also the open fender system from Fab Fours, it looks like it's given us the exact clearance that we need. Is that all the way? Is that full lock? It's all the way. Yeah, so we've got all the clearance that we possibly need in a pretty sweet little setup, man. This thing is really coming together. So one thing you may not know is that we actually got all of this done. They were working on it until 10 o'clock last night, trying to make sure that we hit the deadline for the giveaway and making sure the truck gets built. And so there's a fun little fact for you. There's something else on the suspension that is not completed yet. It's the reason we can't take it for a test drive as well as that front grill. But Colton, come on down here. Can I get a hand? Can I get a hand? A little assistance? <laughs> Help me out, brother. This is, this a, is this, a joke, but I guess you're serious. This is a long fall for me, all right? <laughs> I know you got bad knees, but man. Oh, there we go. That's actually the perfect size step I for really you. like that. That works so. out well. So, so all, all joking aside, we haven't had a chance to get the steering stabilizers installed up front, uh, but we're also missing the ladder bars for the rear as well. So, Colton, what are your first opinions on the suspension system? Although we haven't drove it yet. What is your first reaction? I mean, so far I really, really like it. I kind of want to go over it real quick and kind of get the nitty gritty on this thing. So this is a Fabtech six inch lift kit. It's actually got the front Dirt Logic 4.0 Resi coilovers. Don't, don't, don't go any further on that. I don't think y'all realize how big those coilovers are. 
Like, y'all don't understand. Like, <laughs> it, when, when I picked it up earlier in the video, uh, Colton looked at me like, Mitchell, why did you grunt? And then you picked it up afterwards, and oh, what man. did you say? Can you grab this for Look me? At this remote reservoir. Holy <laughs> I almost didn't pick it up. <laughs> the thing feels like it weighs 80, 90 pounds. Oh, easy. 100 pounds. And if you look, you can see that it has a four inch diameter reservoir. That is gigantic. It doesn't sound huge, but when you really look at that thing and see that it's about, you know, 14 inches long, that's a lot of reservoir. There's a lot of fluid in there. Just this outside reservoir down here on the actual cooler itself is three and five eighths inches. The nitro steel uh, black piston that you see in there is one and one fourth inches. That, that's as big as some coolovers on the outside diameter overall. So, I mean, that's just massive. And again, we wanted to make sure we put something on this that's going to perform because this thing's going to get driven. It's going to get driven to tow stuff. And heck, you better off-road this thing as nice as it looks. I didn't know how I was going to like the Fab Four's open fender system. You know, Mitchell's more the wild guy. I'm the mild guy. I don't really like big fender flares. So Mitchell has the advanced fiberglass big fender kit on his, and I'm not a big fan of it because that's a little too wild for me. And I thought this would be too, but man, this really fits his vehicle so well. And I really, really, really like it, especially with these 22 by 12s. It, it fits perfect, man. Yeah, that's the one thing that um, I've been blessed with. And I know Colton really does as well, is being able to see a project visualize it before it's actually finished and as i was going through the these parts and ordering this for the for the giveaway i was like man that would be sick if we did that <laughs> and i'm really thankful to the warren group of products for helping us support this particular giveaway the truck still got a lot of work to do um, as far as getting everything buttoned up now by the time you're watching these videos the whole truck is completely done and you should be able to enter the giveaway uh, just by clicking on the link down below if that's something you want to do but it's just amazing people don't realize how much work we are putting into this truck uh, all in what do you say we probably got 40 hours in this thing 50 that, hours that's 40 50 so far so far so far yeah so okay. realistically to turn this thing into a into what it's gonna be as a finished project, you're probably looking at 70 man hours worth of work. This wasn't a, a bolt on affair. There's custom cutting and, and, and fabricating and stuff like that just to make these fit. And speaking of the cutting, I know this is really the video about the Fabtech suspension. We're gonna cover that in just a second, but I wanna go back to that Fab Fours. Uh, you know, yes, you are cutting things uh, and you're cutting support brackets, but the brackets that Fab Fours gives you to replace that are more than adequate. I would not have any concern with ordering something like this for your truck if you already have a Super Duty and you're thinking about doing it. And by the way, Fab Force is not paying me a penny to say any of this. Same with Fabtech and any of the Warren family of products. But right. back to the suspension system, um, you know, we've got the steering stabilizers that we'll go ahead and talk about it, but at this time they're not installed. We've got a reservoir, a dual steering stabilizer ordered for the front end because right. we're doing massive tires, right? But not only are they just steering stabilizers, but they're remote reservoir steering stabilizers. I don't exactly. know that I've ever seen a set of those on a truck like this. Not very often do you see that. I mean, we're trying to go above and beyond on this thing. We're giving you the best products we possibly can with the help of the Warren family of products, you know, in Fabtech and, and Fab Fours and Factor 55. I mean, they've really helped us out on this to give us top tier products and make this the perfect vehicle. That's the key word, top tier products, because not all lift kits are created equal as much as I hate to admit that. There are great lift kits for budget points and there are great lift kits for ultra performance. And we are choosing the latter on this giveaway. Uh, there's one other thing that I wanna talk about that you can't see here because it's not installed yet, but it's actually getting installed uh, well before you guys are watching this video. It's actually getting installed tonight at the time that I'm recording this, but it's actually gonna be traction ladder bars in the rear end of the truck. There's a couple of benefits to those ladder bars, but the main one is it prevents the axle wrap. So these trucks that come out with a ton of torque and especially the higher you go, you need to make sure that you're supporting that rear axle. And so what that ladder bar is gonna do is gonna keep that axle from actually turning or twisting when you're under extremely heavy load and you're, you're, you're pressing the throttle all the way down and you got a whole bunch of weight behind you, it's the perfect opportunity to make sure that everything stays in geometry. That's the other reason that I like that four link system is because they are claiming that it's actually gonna help keep everything even more so in geometry from the factory because of that four link setup. So I cannot wait to drive this thing uh, on the road. But I, I really, there's one major thing, one major video that we've got coming up on that. And that's gonna be the armor for the truck. So if you wanna see that video, it's coming up very, very soon from the time that you're watching this video. If you haven't already entered into this giveaway, click on the links down below to go ahead and get entered to win the giveaway itself. And yeah, don't go anywhere because we've got some custom bumpers, custom grills, custom steps. We got, there is a whole lot more to this build 
and hopefully you guys are enjoying it, guys. If you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.